Okay, so we've got more inventory items. Uh, Night in the forest, old book. I found it in one of the bedrooms. I finally have time to read now. Some spoons. Ravioli. That's all the road we have left for the road to Beaver Creek. All the food we have left for the road to Beaver Creek obviously won't be enough. Brody's letter. Old game's pretty cool, and they never run out of batteries. So we got some dice. Daniel's inventory. Demon blonde, too fucking creepy. The magic scroll, etch a sketch. Croco disc. Space scuba. Old tarp, this type will keep us dry if it starts raining or snowing while we're on the road. Ravioli. <coughs> Hot dog man comic. I don't think I can take the dog dying. I think we've grabbed everything. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? You out here? Daniel! Where is he? Following the puppy trail, and I'm gonna cry. We have a two day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Daniel? Where are you? No. I have to find Daniel and Mushroom. Oh, for fuck's sake. What are they doing? Dude, what are you doing? Uh, this is annoying. Very annoying. Daniel! Well, they definitely didn't go this way. It's so quiet. Hey, what are you up to? This is a lot of a build up to tell me the dog's died. <laughs> oh, fuck me. What the fuck happened here? It is, it's the goddamn dog. Come on, Daniel, let's go. <sighs> That's not good.
Man, I said last year the dog was gonna die. Daniel? This icon implies Daniel's power. Step forward. Don't intervene. I kind of want the cat to die, to be honest. Killed my puppy. You killed my dog! Fuck! Daniel! You just... God damn it. What's happening to me? Shh. You, you just wanted to protect us. I, save your strength. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, little buddy. I told you the dog was gonna die. It's all right. I'm right here. I mean, I could have stopped him from killing the cougar, but fuck you, you killed my puppy. No one else seems to care. Same rules as the cop from the start, right? Shoot first, ask questions later. Isn't that America? Fucking Americans. Ugh. She was a good girl. Here. You should do it. She was a good girl. Is and that you, uh, you got you got your first kill, well, kid. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. That's the problem with dogs, they don't back down. Sean, Gooby doesn't. Do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait. What about his allergies? Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Sean. I'm sorry I killed the cat. I don't know what I was thinking. If only I could. I know. Come on, buddy. 
We've all learnt a valuable lesson about falling in love with a dog. Oh, man. I told you, I said literally last year that dog was going to die. Now I feel like shit. I don't want to play this game anymore. Wish we didn't have to go. I like having the house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. Bye, Lord Snowman. You look after our mushroom. <laughs> so long, my dudes. That music is very like Fade Out by Radiohead. To the point where I keep wanting to sing Fade Out by Radiohead. <coughs> yeah, my heart aches at the moment for the dog. I knew that dog was going to die. Fuck's sake. Man, I'm sad. So sad. I bet killing that cat is going to bite me in the ass. Like, in episode 5, it'll be like, but you let me kill the cat, and then snap someone's neck, and then the FBI or the X-Men or something show up to put him down or put him in one of those uh, prisons. Oh, this is the licensed music that obviously I've turned off. So, uh, shout out to whatever song is playing here. As we get a montage of our guys walking through the snow. <clears throat> I knew they were going to kill that dog. <sighs> Squirrels. Deer. No dog though. Dog's gone. Mind you how absolutely massive America is. <laughs> Being in these woods for the next seven months trying to get to the other side. Ooh, was that a road? Nice. This is an extended montage. It probably has a very good licensed song playing that we've turned off, so it kind of leaves me awkward. Uh, like, what do I talk about? Just what's on screen, I guess. There's a car. Lots of snow. Kid doesn't have to seem to have. We're getting directions. Kid doesn't have, seem to have the same drawbacks from the powers that. Um, Max had with the nosebleeds and everything, but maybe that'll come later. Uh, he's a lot younger than Max was, and Max's came on like super sudden. It's fun to play a game with superpowers. I liked Spider Man on the PS4, that was just amazing, it's why I bought a PS4.
I'm guessing this is where that kid from, uh... <coughs> we made it, Daniel. 102 Reynolds. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Grandma Let me check like. you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. Oh, man. Ah, we got new stuff going on. Daniel's inventory. Mushrooms, bandana. Jesus, man. bunch of pictures of the dog. Fuck. Daniel went nuts and scary. Need to teach him control. Quick. There's another game I need to play. Burning cold. Had to carry Daniel for over two miles. No one stopping to help us. What's wrong with these guys? America. The Reynolds house. Gee, look how long they walked in the snow. Wow. Poor dog. What are you waiting for? <coughs> okay. 100%, well, no. 50 50, parents are MAGA racists too. But you're different because you're our grandkids, right? That's how it works. What if they went on vacation? Or. Something. Uh, don't. We'll figure out something. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be the uh, the lady from um, Captain Spirit. That's it. I'm sorry. We don't want any of. It is. Hello, Claire. It's the nosy lady. Sean. From Captain Spirit. Oh my. Is that Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard. Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well, it's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but. Okay, inside. Both of you. Okay, how's this gonna go down? Granddad's MAGA. But it's different because you're my blood, huh? I know the type. Just a good old boy. Like the guy from the gas station. Just a good old boy. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine. But you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Yep, she's just like she was in Captain Spirit. So hungry, my belly hurts. <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Yep. It's 
good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. I... remember that. I think it used to be in the... feels so awkward to be here. Are you all right, honey? No. Nope. You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if, <clears throat> if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? We had no choice. The cops would have blamed me for everything. I know it. Well, Sean, now the police do blame you. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. Jesus. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. Before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove We don't it. really know much about okay. the mom. Uh, thank you. Let's just be grateful. Seriously? Because she was all Snoopy and... Uh... That's... Really nice, Stephen. <sighs> thank you. Okay. But we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy. Yeah. And nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey! You're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something.
don't tell her about the killing with your mind thing. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas, so this is um, when the, the, the uh, I can't even remember the kid's name. Chris? How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Mm -hmm. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. So are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. Your sure. house, your rules. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean? Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Okay. Oh, this takes me back. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and uh, Mushroom. Please give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. <clears throat> Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. Grandma. Oh, oh, God. Grandma, Grandma. Blah, 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 blah. Devil child. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. It's probably recorded in the wrong resolution again. I hate it when it does that. It feels so nice to have a bed again. Only does it with Life is Strange, though. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why? Well, we don't know anything about their mom, so why? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus <clears throat> on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know. Wizardry. I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Does it hurt? Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. 
I'll show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind, and everything should be fine. But we know he used the powers in Captain Sleep Spirit. Sleep tight. Little cub. Because the grandparents are that kid's neighbors. Ah, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, a little bit of a crash there. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Beaver Creek, Oregon, one week later. Man, they've been hiding out for a week. Is this where he meets Chris? I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. Is that a Naruto poster? Dad's picture. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. Dad's such a baller in his suit. Stephen's fault. This is pretty good so far. I love that Stephen only has crime and train books. Inherent mice. Man, I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. Well, you're wanted for, like, murder? Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. You'll be grateful for them when it all goes wrong and we have to go on the run. Daniel is training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Dan getting better, December 5th, 2016. He's eating like a horse, guess that's good. Been hanging out with them a lot. Pretty awkward, awkward after all these years. They're walking on eggshells not to talk about Seattle or Karen. There's a huge elephant following us everywhere. December 6th, 2016. Claire Reynolds, Stephen Reynolds. And a picture of mushroom there. Reynolds rules. Discretion. Don't leave the house. Disconnection. No phone. No internet. Daily chores. Homework for Daniel. Laughing my ass off. Good luck with that, Claire. December 7th. Bored as fuck. Grateful for being here, but need to get out. Gotta think of what's next. Ain't no chill for the wicked. December 9th, 2016. He's sketching everything he sees. walked a hell of a long way. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. I miss you, Mushroom. <laughs> 